Cooler Master has prepared a shuttle for people like us to visit their HQ. So this bus over here is uh, leaving at the 30 minutes interval and it will bring us to Cooler Master's HQ at Neihu District. So I got the permission to get on the bus and <laughs> this is what the bus is and well can't wait for what's the time now uh, you can it's almost two o'clock which is the departure time I might be the only one in the bus itself before that this video is brought to you by gold fries gold fries coverage of Computex 2023 is 100% self-funded if you appreciate the coverage by gold fries please help me out by sharing the content you like and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't so I have reached Cooler Masters HQ over here. It's a rainy day and even my lens has fogged up. So this is what the HQ's foyer look like as we have more guests coming in for Computex. This time Cooler Master, they do have a booth over at the Nanka Exhibition Hall but they have even more items on display over here. So we are at the floor where the exhibition is. This is the fifth floor. And we're going to start by going to the right side, which is here. So I'm just as uh, clueless as you guys. In fact, you, if you've seen the videos from other people, you probably know it better than I do. So I'm going to explore this place by going area by area. So maybe you start with this table over here. So this table, as you can see, touch various modules quite interesting modules over here which um, is uh, like a, those control decks and there's a cool master machine over here followed by the the master it's called the master hub streamer kit so it's if you're familiar with those like from Elgato and those things so it's for people to control their output especially like for streaming purpose now let's move on to the other section right so this is another section with various cases um let's look at this one first update your machine with various colored panels this is cooler master's cooling system for on laptop we go over here it's a cube 500 and then there's so many more things let me just walk around so this is the silent silent power supplies okay thank you right ah so nice they've opened it up for me to have a look so as the turntable turn around you can see that these um power supply it comes with 12 volt high power cable atx atx 3.0 with pc5 pcie5 and let's see whether I can turn this around. Yep, it's gonna turn. Right. Oh. And over here you can see the heat sink. Yeah. Right. So because there's a cable they have to stop it. And yes, there's a heat sink over here. Okay. Thank you. Now we're here we have a concept case I believe so this is called as I can see here concept case mainstream okay. and over here is there's another concept case all right okay two concept cases here and the one that I am visiting this place for is this one which is a small form factor and core 100 max we'll have a look at it in closer detail a bit later over to the next display table ATX3 next gen power supplies and to the next table it's showing the master loop series on these is it the cosmos mm -hmm. And as you can see, this time around, the, this uh, master loop has radiator, palm rest, um, distribution blocks. No, no, this is 
graphics card block, CPU block, and then there are fittings down here. Alright, let's move around to other display areas. So as you can see the wall here, it shows, um, it, um, is it chronological? Not sure, but it's that it, there's basically landmark or key projects based on year, indicating like for example, first claws out um, mouse, which is from the CM Storm thing, and various other things. Oh, I remember this one, this cooler. Right. Along the area, there are other things like this demo, this build, which. And then we go around the other areas like the shoe here. Next, let's go and just look at this racing rig. And then this gaming seat, as you can see, as a cockpit, I'll call it a cockpit. And apparently this person is playing Overwatch. Next, I'm going to the Street Fighter zone, where the products are done in collaboration with Street Fighter. So let's look at these. Hmm. There's Chun Li. There's Ryu. And then there's an arcade system over here. Controllers, mouse and keyboard. And it's for you to play Street Fighter. And the rig is up here. And there's even more gaming chairs. Keyboards, AIO. Um, against Street Fighter. I'm not familiar with this character. Okay, next let's go into this zone. It looks like there's more stuff. So, what's this? This is the throne, all in one compact integrated system consisting of amplifier and such. So, a quick cut to this one because I wanted to understand what the throne X is. Basically, it's a chair over here, which is an all in one system, kind of like for a drummer thing. So it's, uh, when well, I sat on it, there's some beat going on. So it's kind of like something for you to, for musicians to synchronize with their system. Um, not that, not much detail about it yet, but we look forward to when Cooler Master actually release something that we can experience. And let's move on to the next slide. There's even more products over here. This is the CM mod, which you probably have seen before. Very similar to like the shoe one at the front. Sneaker X, right? And then there's our various uh, streaming products that I will not go into detail here. And then over here, Cooler Master's monitor. This is the Tempest G GP2711. Clearly indicates that it's a monitor. And this is the GM27 and the rest, 27 inch monitors. And over here is the 32 inch monitor. And let's move on. So basically, this is an area to showcase how you can set up a gaming room in using Cooler Master's ecosystem, including chair, chair. Now this is like, what's this? Um, okay, a lot of things, right? This is uh, just to clarify, so that this video will not be a full on product guide simply because I'm just actually going around this place to show you what you can see over here. So basically all these things are what you can see if you are attending a Computex and as a guest. So Cooler Master has um, this pretty much displayed, put everything on display over here. And let's go to this side. And this is where the, all the fans are. So if you're like into the sickle flow and all that, see, I just mentioned sickle flow and sickle flow is here. And there's the Mobius fans. And then Cooler Masters AIO, like the ML series, so PL uh, among many. Uh -huh. And what's this? This one is kind of interesting. So it's showing you a charging stand in the back and the various. Um, so more. 
So basically what they did here is, is to showcase the cooling system that they provide for EV cars, such as um, Tesla is one of them, which I understand is one of their customers. Interesting. And over, let me go to the other side, just to quick show you some heat sinks. And let's let go to this side. Interesting, now they have a consumer product like gelato maker and wine dispenser. I think we're pretty much ending the place soon. Over here, let's see. Again, fans on display. So clearly these are the ones for laptops and the rest are your typical fans. Of fair sizes though, they are small ones, right? Next, let me turn around over here. This would be a server, like server systems. Nothing much I can say about the server part. I'm not familiar with server stuff, but just so you know, Cooler Master does server-related things. And I'm heading outside for my final stop. So what do we have over here? Right over here is the cooling X system, which is this is this is the system. It's a cooling. It's called cooling X. So this is a blown up view with the AIO, and the panels, the panels are actually the the heat dissipation panels, or in other words, like heat sink. Right. So you can see this is HDMI output already with. Um, a Phantom Gaming motherboard and this you see the metal it is a heat dissipation plate I wouldn't want to call it a heat sink but you can call it heat sink as well in, in terms of concept and that over here the PNY uh, Cooler Master collaboration thing which I show on the PNY video so basically it's also here it is a very thick graphics card. It PNY's booth, I am unable to lift it up. So for this one, I think I can. Yes, I can. Whoop, I have disconnected it. So let me uh, can uh -huh. It's okay. Lah. So apparently I have detached the the RGB colored thing. But never mind, they say it's okay. Sorry, Cooler Master for that. So just want to show you how thick and how big is this graphics card now even with the rear side view fortunately i have enough strength to carry this thing around right okay i'm going to leave this thing here before i break anything because rtx 4090 is not cheap okay. and with that done let's look at this final thing over here which is Okay. Okay. So this is a collaboration with the person bounce. The person did the, the graffiti, and he will come and paint this thing later on uh, today, which is probably at the Cooler Masters uh, party time. And with that, we've done the around over here at Cooler Masters HQ for all the things on display during Computex. Okay.